One of the goals that I have for this class is to help you as you develop a good base of vocabulary words. This will help you not only in your reading, but also in your writing. So I've chosen as our only textbook for this class, a workbook called Active Vocabulary, General and Academic Words by Amy E. Olson. And I've indicated this in the syllabus. I've given you the ISBN number, so it should be pretty easy to locate. It's a low cost textbook, I do believe. You can find them uh, in our bookstore or also online for around $40 or a little less. Uh, you may want to purchase this rather than rent it because you will be writing inside it. So students who are writing inside and then returning are finding that they can't return it because it is a workbook that they've written in. And I will want you to turn this in at the end of the semester. So go ahead, spend just a little extra money, buy the workbook so that we can, uh, we can go through it together and I can grade it at the end of the semester. So this is the textbook that you will need. And this particular workbook is divided into 24 chapters. So you can tell it's going to take a little bit of time. My students tell me that each chapter takes them about 20 minutes. So again, not, not so much that you're going to be overwhelmed, but you do need to start on this immediately. That's why I've taken and included this in the very first module is because I want you to start working in the active vocabulary workbook immediately. So here's how this is going to work. You're going to start with chapter one. And you can see that there are all kinds of activities. Some of them are matching. Some of them are fill in the blank, multiple choice, matching words to pictures. You have a lot of different ways to interact with these words. But I'm only asking you to do the first four pages of each chapter. So the first page is a reading where you can read a text that has the words placed in it. That way you can see the word in context. Then you'll do some exercises on page two, page three, and page four. This is what I'm asking you from each chapter. Now you'll notice that it goes on to a page five and six of each chapter, but these require writing sentences, a lot of extra work. I feel like by the time you've done these first four pages, you will have a good handle on these new vocabulary words. So again, I'm not asking you to do pages five and six, right? Just the first four pages. Then you will move on to the second chapter. Again, you see a very similar format. Complete the first four pages and move on to the third chapter. And when you make it to the fifth chapter, you'll find that it's a review chapter. And it's taking all the words that you've learned thus far and in working with them in sentences and in matching activities. Right, so you'll get to chapter five. You'll do again the first four pages. Sometimes students enjoy doing these pages are just kind of fun on the review chapters because after the review chapter, I am giving you a quiz and you will find that first quiz immediately following this video. All right, so you'll do five uh, chapters, one through five, take a quiz, do chapters six through 10, take a quiz, chapters 11 through 15, take a quiz, chapters, uh, I think it's gonna be 16 through 19, take a quiz and then 20 through 24 and take a quiz, All right? And I've just kind of tucked those into each module so that it'll stay in the forefront. Uh, a lot of times when I have students that fail to complete this class, it's because they fail to complete this workbook. So I've just tucked a little assignment inside each of the modules where you'll keep it going, working on it th throughout the semester. Um, I will need this workbook from you because I do grade it, it's worth 120 points in this particular class. So be sure and send this to me. I'll need to receive it by the first week uh, of May or December, depending on which semester that you're taking it. Watch for my dates. I've indicated those to you in the syllabus and in multiple places of when this workbook is, done, is due. You can mail this workbook to me at 1507 South McKenna, and I've included that in the syllabus, Poto, Oklahoma, 74953. Or you can deliver it to me here in the Poto campus. If you take it to the Salisaw campus, they can deliver it to me as well. I just need your workbook by the date indicated because it does take a little time to go through and grade each one of these chapters. Okay, again, it's a significant portion of your grade, so please do not neglect the workbook and have fun learning new words.